Hi, I'm O'Shea, an ambassador alum from the V state of North Carolina. I'm here to tell you about an amazing 17 day journey. I'm talking about your South Pacific Adventure Program. From exploring ancient Maori traditions to taking a luge ride down a mountainside, the journey of a lifetime awaits. Your South Pacific Adventure Program starts in New Zealand, the land of the Kiwis. And no, I'm not talking about the fruit. Kiwi is the international nickname for the residents of this insanely pretty country. Your first stop is Auckland, the biggest city in New Zealand and a prime example of modern life in this part of the world. Drive south through stunning farmlands in a motor coach. Think really, really fancy bus with your own personal driver. From the mouth of the bay, you'll work your way to Rotorua and a Maori meeting house called the Marae. It's sacred to the Maori, so sacred we couldn't record it for this video. And this is an exclusive opportunity for student ambassadors. <laughs> Enjoy a Maori cuisine prepared Hanji style, using hot rocks in a pit oven, and perhaps a haka. <laughs> the most famous haka is the traditional war cry, dance or challenge, used for centuries of Maori warriors hoping to intimidate their enemies. Come on, come on. Hey. And student ambassadors get to learn this ancient art form which is definitely intimidating. <laughs> Just like me. At the Museum of Art and History, inside the historic Rotorua Bathhouse building, you'll dig deeper into the essence of a place and its people. But don't get too comfortable, because you're about to luge down a mountain. <laughs> now the thrill starts with a bird's eye view of Rotorua during the gondola ride to the top of Mount Nagunda. Hey, don't judge me. Getting to know another culture does not always mean being able to pronounce all the local words, but it is a cool mountain with a fantastic luge ride. You'll get to take a look around that crazy, beautiful scenery, then climb into your luge and sail into the bottom of the mountain. Think part go-kart, part toboggan. <laughs> all fun. Did you know that more than 150 major motion pictures have been filmed in New Zealand since 1977? The film industry says it's because you can get the whole world in one place. From soaring mountains and rolling green fields to flawless beaches. As well as something truly epic. As in Lord of the Rings epic. Welcome to Hobbiton. Discovering the real Middle Earth when you visit the amazing movie set that was used in both the Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings trilogy. You may even act out of scene. Don't worry. If I can fit, you can. And did I mention I was an offensive lineman? Discover what everyday life is like in this part of New Zealand during your homestay. The homestay is really what people to people is all about. As a student ambassador, you're not just traveling, you're making real connections with people from other cultures. And it's definitely something that the average tourist can't do. One of the best ways for you to truly connect with people across the globe is through your homestay. And I won't lie. I was nervous about staying with a family I didn't know. Who wouldn't be? But you know what? It turned out to be one of my favorite memories. I enjoyed learning more about what my host family liked to do for fun. And we shared stories about our friends. I learned that the things that are really important to me, my family, my country, making the world a better place, these same things are important to people in other countries too. When it comes down to it, we really are more alike than we are different. It was lovely having you. After saying a sad goodbye to your whole family. See you guys, it's been absolutely awesome. Really, right. really cool. You'll be off to explore even more great sites. Rotorua is well known for its geothermal activity. And nowhere is this more evident than at the Wild Tapu Thermal Wonderland. Thousands of years in the making, you'll see mud pools, geysers, oh. and some of the most beautiful pools on this planet. Then, it's time to take a thrilling jet boat ride on the Waikato River, the longest in New Zealand. You'll fly through the dramatic gorge on your way to the magnificent Huka Fall. Continue on to New Zealand's capital, Wellington. In 2011, lonely planet called Wellington, the coolest little capital in the world, and we agree. Student ambassadors will spend a few days in this amazing city known for its art and culture. Visit the Taipapa Takarua National Museum, which is devoted to natural history, modern art, science and technology, and recording the Maori culture of New Zealand. This isn't your average museum. 
It has six floors of interactive and innovative displays that are designed to bring New Zealand and its history to life. Learning about history has never been this fun. From Wellington, take the ferry across the Cook Strait between the North and South Islands of New Zealand. The strait is named after James Cook, the first European to sail through it in 1770. Keep your eyes open for seals and penguins. Your travels will take you along the coast, ending at New Zealand's second largest city, the Garden City, or Christchurch. Did you know New Zealand is the closest country to Antarctica? During your time in Christchurch, you'll visit the Antarctic Center. I got good. This amazing interactive museum will bring the wonders of Antarctica right to you. I caught, I caught. Ah! Woo! Hello, how are you today? Chat over the phone with a scientist in Antarctica and come face to face with adorable blue penguins that have been cared for since they were chicks. If you think grown-up penguins are cute, just wait until you see the babies. And yes, boys think little penguins are cute too. Got a problem with that? Student ambassador programs are designed to challenge you. Your next activity is designed to get you outside of your comfort zone. Way outside. You'll be rappelling down a cliff face during full on. Full on was designed exclusively for student ambassadors to build leadership skills and help students discover their true potential. Good to see you out here challenging yourself, pushing it. The full on instructors have developed exciting mental and physical challenges to help you learn how to conquer your own fears and achieve pretty much any goal you set for yourself. It's one of those truly unique people to people activities that can help you in the future when you take on challenges at home or school. When you think back to full on, you'd know there's nothing you can't do when you set your mind to it. This full day experience is one of the most amazing things you'll do in your program. Yay! Woo I did it! Then it's time to say goodbye to New Zealand and good day to Australia. Welcome to Sydney, Australia's largest city. Sydney is constantly ranked as one of the world's best cities to live in. And on your first day there, you'll understand why. Take a dive into Australia's aquatic life at the Sydney Aquarium. See turtles and tropical fish, sharks, and massive stingrays. You'll even see two dugongs, and there are only five of these creatures on display in the entire world. The aquarium is a great way to explore the diverse marine life you would find around Australia's coastline. It will give you a glimpse into what awaits you later in your journey when you snorkel the Great Barrier Reef. You're going to see cricket played non-stop wherever you go around the world. With a culture deeply rooted in British history, it's no surprise that Australians love cricket. Think baseball meets croquet. Receive personal instruction on the basics and then try out your own new skills on the field as you're challenged by locals. You'll take in the views during a dinner cruise and a dance party on Sydney Harbour. You'll spy some of Sydney's most popular landmarks, including the world famous Opera House. This masterpiece of modern architecture has become a symbol not only of Sydney, but Australia as well. Student ambassadors get to take a closer look during an exclusive backstage tour of this world famous site. They're just sitting up for the first night. Giving back to host countries through service is an important part of every people to people ambassador program. After you learn about natural flora and fauna of the area, you may do a beach cleanup or contribute to conservation efforts in the national park. Take to the sky and feel larger than life when you experience the skywalk on Sydney Tower. You can see all of Sydney stretched out before you and far beneath your feet through the glass bottom deck. At a dizzying 850 feet above the city, that's twice as high as the Harbour Bridge, it seems like you're flying, even though you're latched safely to the rail. Hop on board an in-country flight to Cairns and your next adventure, snorkeling on the Great Barrier Reef. The Great Barrier Reef is the world's largest coral reef system, stretching more than 1,600 miles, and it is spectacular. Before diving right in, you'll have an opportunity to hear directly from local marine biologists all about this amazing ecosystem and its aquatic inhabitants. If you're not into snorkeling, you can still take a peek from a glass bottom boat, but I strongly suggest diving right in. You don't want to miss out on this once in a lifetime opportunity. And just when you think Australia couldn't get any better, head to the rainforest village of Karanda for the perfect wrap-up of your South Pacific adventure. 
Australia is one of the most biodiverse places on the planet. And when you visit Karanda, you'll understand why. The rainforest itself is wild, with birds, butterflies, lizards, and tree snakes all hiding in the dense leaves. You'll hitch a ride through the rainforest on a World War II amphibious vehicle called an army duck. Yes, it can travel on both land and water. The Australian and the U.S. military used these unique vehicles during World War II. During your time in the rainforest, you will also meet members of an aboriginal clan and learn how to throw a boomerang. Yeah. Yeah. Australia's aboriginal culture is the oldest surviving culture in the world, dating back more than 50,000 years. The people you will meet truly live off the land. Many of the aboriginal people also happen to be talented dancers, as you'll see during a live performance backed by the didgeridoo. It's just one way you'll be immersed in Aboriginal heritage in a place where it has thrived for thousands and thousands of years. And then, you won't believe it. And you probably won't even be ready for it. But your journey will be coming to an end. Your new friends will probably feel like family. And it might be hard to imagine not seeing them every day. It's truly amazing how close you can become after traveling together as a student ambassador. My journey changed me and gave me the chance to better understand the world and how connected I am to people in faraway places. Take that first step, open your mind, and get ready for an amazing South Pacific adventure on a journey filled with one incredible experience after another. Return home with something truly priceless, a brand new way of seeing the world.